Chapter one, down the rabbit hole. Alice was, Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book of her sister her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversation in it. And what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversation? Alice in Wonderland is such an iconic story. And I feel like in a lot of ways, it's the story of, of the human experience. You know, we think we understand the nature of life and how it works, but I think the universe has, has like these cunning ways of like saying, oh, you think you figured me out. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna trick you now into something else. So um, it's not so much to be, tri to be tricked, but I think as a human, um, we should always be curious. And I think the story of Alice, she's very curious, and sometimes her curiosity got her to go down these, these rabbit holes. It's impossible to ever truly know someone. Some people go their entire lives as somebody else. There are people who are not only kind, but extremely intelligent and hold highly prestigious positions in society. Beneath the surface, they're ticking time bombs. And then came back and I got involved uh, working in film and television production. I started out as a production assistant, and then um, I did production assistant stuff for maybe about a good two years, and then I had an opportunity to go uh, move to Los Angeles to work for Jerry Bruckheimer. You've got yourself a deal. I'll uh, send papers over tomorrow. It's like artificial intelligence is soulless. It doesn't know what it feels like to have your heart broken. It doesn't know what it feels like to understand somebody's difficulties. I moved to New York in, in uh, September, August of 2006. But in January of 2006, I was diagnosed with HIV. I was about three months homeless. I slept in the subway a couple of times. Um, I, I couch surfed in people's couches. I had a job in one of the buildings on 6th Avenue. It was, it was a financial, um, it was a financial business, it was a temp job, but I, I slept a few nights in the storage closet. And then I, I came down with pneumonia, thrush, and giardia. They were gonna put me in hospice care. My T cells were down to 15. And uh, I said, I was like in the, in the hospital bed and I was kind of scared. And I just remember saying you know, out loud, you know, God, if, if my life continues to have to be a struggle to, for me to kind of realize my goals and aspirations, the things that I really want to do, then I'm okay with going. I think I've, I've led a pretty interesting life up to this point. And uh, so obviously it wasn't meant to be. I, I rebounded. Now I'm living up on the Upper West Side. Um, through this whole time of being on public assistance, I've directed music videos, I've done short film projects, I have a web series on YouTube called Comfort Road Sessions that I've done seven episodes of, I'd love to do more. I'm gonna explore the world and I'm gonna be a kind person and I think that's all you really have to do. Still trying to uh, get my foothold on being more of a director. I enjoy acting, I enjoy editing, I enjoy producing, I enjoy directing, but I, I just feel like in general, I'm a storyteller and uh, first and foremost, and I find the medium that speaks to me the most because when I was a child, you know, movies spoke to me a lot. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. My name is Tom O'Connor, and I've lived in New York for 19 years. I was born here originally. I'm 55. Um, I grew up in Colorado, uh, but lived here to the age of five in Yonkers, New York. Youngest of four, I come from a very Catholic family. I, my first uh, interest in what I wanted to be when I got older was to be an animator for Disney. Thank you.
turning to Alice again. No, I give it up, Alice replied. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea, said the Hatter. Nor I, said the March Hare. Alice sighed wearily. I think you might do something better with the time, she said, than wasting it asking riddles that have no answers. <laughs>